Let's begin first at 430 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. New developments tonight in the Hacienda Healthcare investigation after a woman in a vegetative state gave birth. We are now learning the two doctors that cared for the woman are no longer with Hacienda. According to the medical facility, one of the doctors has resigned. The other doctor has been suspended. The facility remains under fire as the investigation into whoever raped the patient continues. Friends and family gathered today to remember a Valley teen shot and killed by a police officer. Funeral services were held for 19 year old Jacob Harris. The shooting happened on January 10th near 93rd Avenue in Camelback. The family of the teen says the father of two was shot multiple times in the back. According to police, Harris was in a group of suspects involved in an armed robbery at an Avondale fast food restaurant. He was shot and killed after raising his weapon towards officers. Police are also searching for the driver in a deadly hit and run. Investigators tell us a 26 year old woman was walking along Van Buren near 79th Avenue when she was hit and killed. The driver fled the scene. If you have any information, you are asked to call Silent Witness. Murder suspect on the loose after a deadly shooting near 24th Avenue in Thomas. Police say an estranged boyfriend approached two women with a knife. Another man intervened and ended up shooting and killing the man who had been threatening the women then ran off. If you have any information about this case, you're asked to call Phoenix Police. Family, police and co-workers are searching for a Mesa woman who's been missing for nearly a week. 60 year old Valerie Fairchild was last seen at 2.30 Monday in her neighborhood south of Main Street between Power and Sossaman Roads. She is a longtime executive at Earnhardt Auto Centers. Right now, crews are battling a 300 acre wildfire in Prescott. Central Arizona Fire and Medical Crews are urging people to avoid this area north of Highway 89 and Glassford Hill. Now, there are no evacuations at this time. Crews say the fire is wind driven, but appears to be slowing down. 